Hey guys, this is Civil Learning Online and today in this video I will be continuing our lecture on influence line diagram and guys if you this is going to be my second lecture on influence line diagram if you ha guys haven't watched my previous video then do watch that video and guys in the previous video I have discussed about these things which we will be studying uh, in this influence line diagram series and today I am going to continue uh, influence line diagram for the reaction at the support and guys in order to draw the influence line diagram for the reaction at the support one need one need to know the concept uh, which is required for uh, drawing the influence line diagram for the reaction at the support so uh, in this lecture i will first make you familiar with the concept for drawing the influence line diagram for the reaction at the support and then we will see some example based upon this concept so guys if you haven't liked the video do like the video and share this video with your friend and if you are new, new to this channel then do subscribe the channel and guys without any further delay let's get started let us draw a simply supported beam of a span L so guys here is a simply supported beam AB of span L and let us consider a unit load because in the in the previous lecture I have mentioned that the influence line diagram is basically uh, based upon the in unit load so let us consider a unit load at distance X from the uh, support A let this be unit load means 1 kilonewton or 1 newton it is up to you and uh, which is at distance x from the support a let me draw a line here to represent this span and the remaining portion will be whole minus x so this portion is l minus x Now guys, after drawing the span, uh, if we use the concept uh, for finding the shear at or the reaction at the support A and B, which we have done in the solid mechanics or uh, strength of material, we uh, what we used to do, we can easily uh, get, say the value of a reaction at B A will be B A equals to load multiplied by this span and divided by whole span so we will have ba equals to l minus x upon capital l and similarly we will have bb equals to this load times this span opposite span and uh, divide by whole span so 1 times x will be x divided by span is l uh, if you ask me that how this uh, these two value came uh, then let me tell you uh, whenever a simply supported beam is carried with the load w then the at distance x or so at some distance from the left support or right support then in that case the reaction at the support is given by load multiplied by the distance on the opposite portion divided by the whole span so we will have va equals to load means one times opposite span uh, it, it means span on the opposite side of the load L minus X divided by whole span similarly for BB we will have load times load times and the opposite of uh, reaction BB is X so 1 times X will be X divided by whole span is X by L now guys we need to draw the influence line diagram for this reaction and let us see how that is done so we have BA equals to L minus X upon L similarly VB equals to X upon L now guys what we can do if if we consider consider VB means here I am going to show you how to draw the influence line diagram for VB means reaction at B support B so if we consider VB then we have VB equals to X upon L and if if our unit load unit load is at A 
means x is equal to 0 then what we will have if x equals to 0 or we can say that if x equal to 0 means our unit load is at a means the unit load is here means our x will be 0 here so if our x is equal to 0 and we put the value of x equals to 0 in this equation then we will have vb equals to 0 similarly if x equals to l means x equals to when l when our when will our x becomes l when our unit load will approach the support b then x will be equals to l what i said a unit load is a distance x from a so when the unit load will reach the support b then our x will be equal to l so we have assumed that if our x is equal to l then what we will have here vb equals to l upon l means vb will be equals to 1 so guys uh, now this is the condition and we will draw the influence diagram for the reaction at support b so let us see how it is drawn we will simply plot this value here in a triangular form so guys uh, here i have drawn the span a b and here i will be plotting the influence line diagram for the reaction at support b and guys when x is equals to 0 we have vb equals to 0 so assume that vb is 0 means at so in a our vb is 0 means it is on line and uh, at at x equals to l means at support b our vb will be equals to 1 and suppose let us assume that this much portion is 1 this much portion is 1 so we can join this now guys uh, this triangular portion represents the influence line diagram for the reaction at support b similarly if we draw the influence line diagram for the support a then how uh, what what will be the form of that trend uh, that figure let us see how to now again what we can do b a we have b a equals to l minus x upon l and guys if we take if x is equals to 0 means here our unit load is at a so if our unit load is at a then our x is equal to 0 so b a will be equals to b a will be equals to l minus 0 by l so l upon l will be equal to 1 means our reaction at a will be equals to 1 or the ordinate at a will be equals to 1 when our unit load is at support a similarly if our x is equal to l means our unit load has reached support b so if our x is equal to l means l minus l will be equals to 0 upon l so b a will be equals to 0 now let us plot this here so we are drawing the influence line diagram for the uh, reaction at support a this is our support a this is our support b and at x equals to 0 we have b a equals to 1 so let it let this this value be 1 from here to here this is 1 and similarly at x equals to l we have b a equals to 0 means here at support b our b a is 0 so guys from this diagram it is clear that the influence line diagram is maximum on the support means we have to draw out for finding the influence line diagram or oh sorry in value for finding the reaction at the supports what we need to do is we have to draw the influence line diagram of this manner and then we will calculate the a required value of the reaction it will be more cleared through the example so let us uh, go through go through our example based upon this so guys uh, here is a question in which we are asked to calculate the vertical reaction bb at b and here we are provided with a, a simply supported beam of a span 10 meter which is carrying the three points load 150 kilo newton 50 kilo newton and 180 kilo newton and guys for calculating the vertical reaction bb at b we need to draw a influence line diagram and guys from the concept we have under, understood that whenever we will be asked to calculate the vertical reaction at any support 
then we need to draw a triangle with the value unity at that support and zero at the other so opposite support so guys we are calculating the re reaction at b so let us draw a triangle here and guys here the maximum value will be unity which is will be at support b because we are calculating the reaction at support b so here we go our this value is going to be 1 the length of this line is going to be 1 or the ordinate is going to be 1 now we need to find the ordinate of this under this load so that we can calculate the reaction at the support b because these load are going to have influence on the support b so we must know how to calculate the ordinate of these lines so let us see how to calculate the ordinate and once we know the ordinate we can easily calculate the reaction at the support b so guys uh, for calculating the ordinate we basically use the concept of uh, similar triangles and here let us let us see i'm i'm going to make you familiar with the concept of uh, that similar triangle in big in this large triangle we have height equals to 1 unit and the span is 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 means guys now uh, we need to find the ordinate of this line and we don't know this value so let this be represented by x and let the width of this triangle or the base of this small triangle be represented by a small l and we already know the width of this big triangle is 10 meter and its height is 1 unit so if we use the uh, theorem of similar triangle then it says that the corresponding sides i repeat the corresponding sides of similar triangle are proportional means the corresponding side of this triangle a smaller triangle side x is proportional to this one of this big triangle similarly the side l of this smaller triangle is going to be proportional to this uh, 10 meter of this big triangle what i said if we write the concept or the theorem of the similar triangle it says that this x is going to be proportional to 1 means x upon 1 x is proportional to 1 it will be equals to this l is proportional to 10 meter means corresponding sides and l is a smaller triangle so l upon 10 and one thing more do not get confused while writing the sides of the triangle if we are taking the side of a smaller triangle upper if we are providing the side of a smaller triangle to upper position then the uh, then on other side of the equals to again the side of the smaller triangle will be will take the higher position means numerator and here also i have done the same thing x uh, is of side of a smaller triangle so x is placed up here and uh, l is again the side of a smaller triangle so l is placed up here and uh, here the one is the side of big triangle so it is placed down and again on the other side uh, this 10 meter is the side of big triangle so it is placed down and from here we can calculate the value of x and we will have here x will be equals to l upon 10 meter and we know the value of l is 2 meter so the ordinate of x will be equals to 2 upon 10 similarly again we need to calculate the ordinate of this uh, ordinates of this triangle and this is going to be the ordinate so how to calculate this again let this be l2 up to here up to the ordinary position of this ordinate this be let this be l2 and we have the value of capital l so again we will use the concept of uh, similar triangle so we will again have and let us represent this by x2 so we will again may make the uh, you apply the condition of similar triangle in these two triangle a b c and uh, b1 b2 and c2 let this be b1 c1 so if we use the con concept of similar triangle in triangle a b2 c2 and a b c then we what we will have again the corresponding side will be proportional so the corresponding side of x2 is 1 
so x2 upon l will be equals to again base and the base is up to here the span up to here is we have l plus l uh, sorry 2 plus 2 will be equals to 4 meter from a to b2 so l is 4 upon and the whole span is 10 meter and we have here x2 upon uh, this one this is our one i write it mistakenly and we have value of and l2 l2 is up to here l2 is up to here l2 upon whole span so l2 is our 2 plus 2 4 upon 10 so we will have here x2 equals to 0 0.4 and here we have 2 upon 10 means 0 0.2 this is 0 0.2 this is 0 0.4 similarly again we will use the concept of uh, similar triangle for finding the ordinate of this line so how to use this let this be represented by x3 we don't know this ordinate so let it be represented as x3 and the span up to here be represented by l3 so again we will use the same same concept that the opposite side of the proportional triangle or sorry corresponding side of the similar triangle are proportional so the corresponding side of x3 is 1 so x3 is proportional to 1 and L3 will be proportional to this 10 meter because the span base of this big triangle uh, up to B3 C3 in triangle A B3 C3 the base is L3 so L3 will be proportional to this whole 10 meter so L3 upon 10 meter now we know the value of L3 so value of L3 is going to be 2 plus 2 plus 3 so it will be 7 upon 10 means 0 0.7 and guys this one is actually multiplying we are doing cross multiplication here because uh, when this 0 0.2 is multiplied with the one which were here it we will again get 0 0.2 similarly we have got x2 equals to 0 0.4 because uh, if we uh, here it is one this one is here and if we multiply this 0 0.4 with one we will again get 0 0.4 similarly uh, we have x3 by 1 equals to l3 by 10 so l3 by 10 equals to 7 by 10 so x3 by 1 equals to 0 0.7 how because we l7 by 10 equals to 0 0.7 and if we multiply this 0 0.7 with this one we will again get x3 will equals to 0 0.7 so this is how we have got the ordinates now uh, let us find the sub uh, reaction at the support b so guys after getting the value of this ordinate simply multiply the ordinate with these loads because uh, we were these are for the unit load and the here the load are 150 50 and 180 kilonewton so we will have bb equals to ordinate times ordinate is 0 0.2 times 150 kilonewton plus 0 0.4 times 50 kilonewton plus 180 times uh, value of x3 is 0 0.7 so now solve this add these and we will get the value of bb which will be equals to 176 kilonewton now guys one task for you if you have understood how to calculate the reaction at bb let us calculate the reaction at ba and it is for the and the, i will be solving with you also and uh, let us see how much you have understood for calculating the reaction at bb everything is same only you need to know you uh, from this video uh, you must know understand how we uh, calculate the ordinate because the, once you know how to calculate the ordinate the influence line diagram is that much is that much easy so uh, if i am calculating the reaction at this this influence line diagram is for the bb and i am drawing the influence line diagram for ba and uh, for calculating the influence line for drawing the influence line diagram the with the ba means the our triangle will have the larger portion at a this is a and this is b and a smaller portion will be at zero and this is going to be one here and again the step is same in order to calculate the reaction at the support we need must know the influence caused by this point load on that support so again we will be needing the ordinate uh, under this load and the step is same again we will apply the concept of uh, similar triangle to calculate the ordinates 
and then we will cal calculate the final answer that is v a will be similar to this so how to calculate the ordinates again i am uh, this will be revision for those uh, who have uh, who haven't understood here so uh, watch this carefully if you haven't understood this let us let, let this let us uh, represent this unknown ordinate as x1 and the base of this smaller triangle b a1 and c1 b l1 and if, if we apply the concept of similar triangle in triangle b a1 c1 and b a c then what we will have the opposite sides are proportional so and the whole span is 10 meter means the x1 will be proportional to this one so write it here x1 upon x sorry x1 upon 1 will be equals to this l2 sorry l1 by 10 meter l1 will be proportional this side will be proportional to this whole so l1 upon 10 meter and we know the value of l1 value of l1 is 3 so 3 upon 10 now guys we have x1 by 1 equals to 3 upon 10 if we draw multiply this bring this one here uh, on this side then we will have here x1 equals to 3 upon 1 by 10 so it is going to be 0 0.3 means we have got the ordinate of this point that is equals to 0 0.3 now guys calculate the ordinate of this point by yourself and uh, let me show you how to do this if uh, you haven't understood it yet let this be denoted by x2 then we will have here x2 upon x2 upon 1 will be equals to this l2 up to here let this be represented by l2 in this triangle so l2 we have l2 is equals to 3 plus 3 means 6 upon this whole span is 10 implies x2 equals to 0 0.6 because this 1 is multiplied with 6 means 6 times 1 will be 6 and divide by 10 we will get x2 equals to 0 0.6 6 similarly x3 will be equals to this x3 will be proportional to this one so one is multiplied with uh, base l3 so we have to move up to here and the span will be 3 plus 3 plus 2 means 8 8 divided by whole span 10 we will have here 0 0.8 so we have got the value of the ordinate of each point this is 0 0.8 and x2 is 0 0.6 now we can simply calculate the value of bA and our bA will be equals to this 0 0.3 times the load is it 180 kN newton for the ordinate 0 0.3 180 plus this 0 0.6 will be multiplied with this 50 kN newton load so 0 0.6 times 50 plus 0 0.8 times this 150 kilonewton now add this and we will get the final answer so we will get VA equals to 204 kilonewton and guys I hope you enjoyed this lecture and uh, one more question one more example on this uh, method is remaining that is for the UDL so I will be continuing that in the third lecture and we will uh, see one more concept to determine the position of the live load to have the maximum value means we will again uh, need to study about the influence line diagram for calculating the maximum reaction at the support which is our second type. So once again if you enjoyed the video do like the video and share with your friend let them know that we are studying influence line diagram on this channel and uh, there are many things to study yet. And uh, guys, I hope you are enjoying the lectures and see you in the next video. And uh, let us get more familiar with some other example. And guys, if you are facing any kind of difficulty while understanding this, uh, uh, while solving the numerical based upon these concepts, then you can join the telegram channel or you can directly mail the question to me on my email, which are in the description and uh, see, see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself and your family